Because we need to find the person we've been looking for. So let's make a move. Yuna, where are you? I don't think shouting's gonna get the job done. Oh! Yeah, right behind you, boys. And girls. Ooh. And... Yeah, you sure know where to point that thing, don't ya? <laughs> well then. Since it's going to be like that... Huh. Well, let's go ahead and then and use Aqua Breath. See if this causes some massive damage, because it is a water attack. Unfortunately, it doesn't do much to help our cause. Um, let's see here. I have Echo Screens. So I might as well use those. Good thing I bought them. And here come the big uglies. Alright, so... Let's bring in Titus to speed up Lulu. Because that's obviously going to need to be done. Give it to Lulu. And then... Take on the brunt of their attacks. Let's burn you. For all the pain and suffering you're causing. And, of course, comes right back with the silence. Well, it doesn't look like you auto-potion yourself. So... Since that's not gonna happen... You're out. But the bombs are still coming. They are still coming, and they are gonna be full of pain and suffering for me. Okay... Let's bring Lulu back in. Because obviously I need to use another Echo Screen. So let's throw one out there. Now that we don't have to worry about the handler. Alright, so now, Lizara these things. There we go. And then Titus should be able to get some progress on damage. And of course, these things will get bigger the more we attack them. Lazara on number two. Alright. Let's get Riku in here to get some stealing. Two bomb cores. Yeah, because we can definitely steal some good stuff from these guys. And Waka. You haven't had a shot yet, I don't think. Oh, yes! Nice, Waka, well done. And everyone scores some massive points. Massive points coming my way. What in Yevon's name are those grottled thinking? Eliminate the threat. Save the summoner. Well, we know where Riku's going. So I guess we're just gonna have to follow along. Away we go. So, the chase continues on. You read me? We're going under? Oh no. What do you say? We have to get underground. Are we already underground? Or going in that direction? Summoner Sanctum. This way. Summoner Sanctum? Uh oh. Another threat. Oh boy, and these guys look pretty dangerous. Well, while we're here, let's steal from you. And stole a high potion, okay. Alright, Waka. Since it's obvious these guys do not come with auto potion ability, let's just simply eliminate them. And the handler's dead. Alright, Riku, can you steal again? Okay, it's only going to be high potions. Alright. Let's bring in Orin. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have to power break these guys because they're pretty dangerous. Bring it on. Yeah, it was a good decision. It was a very good decision. Titus. Come in here and get some points. 
Uh, let's haste Orin because he can cause good damage. And then Kimari come in. And why don't we... Yeah, let's armor break this one. Yeah, that'll do. And damage there. Damage there. Riku come back in. And since we have so many of them, let's use those Dial Bed Potions. So yeah, Riku will be our primary healer in this battle. <coughs> Orin, back in. Alright, start breaking them. Okay, and then... Well, let's see here. What do I want? Well, let's see if we can get on the right targets. And dark them. Yes, she can do it. She is capable. Alright. And attack. Yeah, this is why I wanted Riku to be more on offense. Is for situations like this. Alright, that's gone. That's out. Or, that's taking damage. Walk up. Because I don't think you've scored yet. Beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Yeah, we're just going to be racking them up here. here. Lead the way, Riku. Keep on running like crazy. And, oh, hello there. Um, Is this a treasure chest? No, it's not a treasure chest. But there is a save sphere over here. Okay. Let's go over here because it seems like this is where everyone is and they are. Hey guys, what's going on? What are we just standing around for? I see Kamari's at the ready. But on what? Place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. Yeah, it's not a comfortable yeah, feeling. We, we weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the Albed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again. Or so you thought. Why do things have to turn out this way? Riku. Oh, another battle. Um, another battle. What are they thinking? Yeah, there is another battle to your right if you're just wanting to pay attention. Here we go again. Two chimeras and their handler. Alright. Let's play some slots. I'm pulling out all the stops. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Alright. Fire, fire, fire. Alright, here we go. Burn it up. Oh yes, the handler is taken care of swiftly and effectively. Take this. Oh, Megiddo Flame. That's always devastating. However, everyone's at max, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I'm pointing over there. <laughs> oh, an Aqua Breath. Hey, come equipped with Aqua Breath too. Alright. Riku, steal something. Anything. Oh, 9,000 points. Oh, dear me. And they come equipped with magic also. Oh, dear me. Um, Lulu. Lulu, please and hurry. Oh, it's halved against water, fire and water. Which means we have to use something like Thundara. 1400 points. Oh, Megiddo Flame again. Oh, who's gonna be on the receiving end? Oh, Riku, and she's almost killed off. Thankfully, it's not all the all lost for her. Um, Lancet this guy. Try and get the Megiddo Flame. Ah, couldn't get it. Alright, that means Riku has to use an Albed Potion. Well, she was gonna have to use it anyway. 
Alright, and then Titus. Get in here and cause damage. Even though it's not going to be much considering you have those wrong type of weapon. Um, uh, haste. Lulu. Speed her up. And Thundara. Nearly 1600 points. And the pain just keeps coming. Well, these are two Chimeras, so I would expect nothing less. Orin, come back out. Ah, not quite. And I guess we might as well go with a Fury ability. Um, let's put it over here. Oops, nope. I meant to use the Overdrive. I meant to use an Overdrive. And I guess... Yeah, Fury. Thundara Fury. Here we go. Uh, seven, get to eight, get to eight, yes! Okay, that's one god. Riku. Come back in here and use another Albed potion. Alright, then, Orin, just attack normally. Then... Um, yeah, let's get Waka in here because I think he can dark this guy. And... Yes, I can dark it. Alright, almost dead. There it goes. We got the win. And everyone scores nearly seven th more than 7,000 points. And the race continues. Oh, still gotta fight stuff off. Um, it'd help if I knew where I was going. Obviously, we're going left. Riku, what is the Summoner's Sanctum? Yeah, it's a good question. The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. What do you mean you keep them safe you there? Them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage, so you kidnap them? Yeah, that's not very I smart. Mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But guardians are there for that. If guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. Or so you th would think, right? 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 Yeah, give me an answer! Well, it's quiet. Kimari goes now. No, don't you leave on me. Where are you going? Why are you abandoning us? Yeah, now everyone's walking away. What, do they no longer trust themselves? Do they no longer trust their abilities? Well, they did let Yuna get caught by the Albed. Yeah, and Riku runs off too. Chickens! Have you given up already? Yuna, please be here! Well, I want in too. You know that. Let me in right now. Because I want answers. Why do you doubt yourselves at this crucial point of the game? <gasps> Don't tell me she's not in here. We ended up finding Donna and Asaru instead. She's not here. Hello again. Yeah. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. Even though they kidnapped you, you're still wanting to show them mercy. That's, qu that's quite impressive and humble. Especially coming from Donna. 
Hey, um, what sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkand, they might defeat Sin. Yeah. Uni could. But then she. Uni will die, you know? You know, don't you? Um, no, Tynus does not. To get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then. But then. If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Uni too, you know? <sighs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is what's known as an Al Gore moment. An inconvenient truth. Was I the only one who didn't know? Sadly, Titus, that was the case. Tell me why. Why were you hiding it? Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. It was just too hard to say. Even Oren? Even though he's gone through all of it before? <laughs> yeah, you led Titus into believing himself was a whole bunch of delusions. Summoner. To face sin, yeah? You don't know. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves. Just so the rest of Spirit can be happy, right? Well, one for more, one as opposed to many, many more people who could have died, like the Albed here, who are getting sent. What of them? But that is our choice. We all live in fear of sin, you know that. A world without sin. That is the dream of all Yevon's children. Exactly. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. So, yeah, now they use their respective Aeons to deal away with that Yeti. But Titus is still overwhelmed by this situation. And now all he can do is run away. And I've been telling Yuna, let's go to Xanarkin together. Let's beat Sin. I told her all the things. We could, we could. And all along, the whole time, I didn't know anything. But Yuna, she... she... Just smile. Yeah, she stayed strong when you could not. Yeah, even the Aeon knows what they have to do. Even the Aeon's aware of the sacrifices that they need to make. Not easy by any stretch of the imagination, believe you me. May watch. <gasps> uh. Hey, you got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm. I really don't think that's going to help this time. 
You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. I want my journey to be full of laughter. And now, back to reality. I can't let her die. I'll find her. Yeah, we better get out of here while we still can. We don't have a choice. Especially now that we know what's exactly at stake. So let's follow on everyone else and go in this door. Yeah, we got a long path to climb. Up these stairs. And into... I guess what you could call an escape pod of sorts. Three minutes left. Reno, Reno, we reach one minute. Where's Yuna? As I knew how who point. Well, right now they're protecting Reno, themselves. I said, where is she? He has more. He has Answer more important priorities. And what are you doing, lifting him up? Damn! Well, calm down. Find her, eh? I. I, I didn't know anything about what a summoner is is supposed to do. And so that allows you the right to take it out on everyone else? All those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry. That's it? You're going to tell her you're sorry? And then you just drag her to Zanakin and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace. Oh. No. I'm I'm not going to let Yuna die. But then what are you going to end up doing? I'm telling you, she won't die. I mean, Sin has to be beaten, right? Boy, don't forget those words. Cuz if you do, I'm gonna make you regret it. Wow, that's cold. I won't. That is very, very cold. So you know where she is? Of course not! That's why we're gonna look! Yeah. Using this airship! Uh, airship? Yep. Welcome to old school Final Fantasy. Now we're getting in to take a ride. Evil makers 1,000 years, Ujutia! Let's open up the hatch, let the same fall down, and let's go get ourselves a bit of altitude. Uprises what I believe is the most awesome aircraft in Final Fantasy history because After from Final Fantasy 13 on I think they stopped the use of airships Because I don't think I don't remember their use being use of airships in Final Fantasy 13 
as we can see, this place is still burning. Well, at least we escaped. That much we do know. And now it looks like we have beasts coming our way now. And they can fly, just like we can. Yeah, his words come with reluctance. And they're singing the hymn of the faith sorrowfully. They can't carry a tune, but they know that they are indeed in pain, knowing that their people are dying, getting killed off by the Guado. We're, we're gonna blow up our home. How? With one of the forbidden Makina. Yeah, just make Waka more mad, huh? Just get him more pissed off, whatever. It doesn't matter. Waka's feelings don't matter. Just so long as you get what you want, right? And thus the destruction is well and truly on. And we're getting ourselves out of here. As this massive explosion is quickly coming our way. Oh, getting tossed around a bit. Getting burned a little, but we have escaped the explosions. <laughs> I can understand how painful it is for this guy. Hey, look. Don't get so down. Boom! <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? Ouch. You can your happy festival, you big meanie. Yeah, though the people that just got killed off... That's definitely not the best way to put a spin on things. So, here is now where we stand. We have escaped the Sinubia Deserts. However, we still were unable to find Lady Yuna. And what became of Donna and Isaru is unknown. But, we are going to call it an episode for now, and bring today's recordings to a close. So, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Let's Play of Final Fantasy X. And when I join you again, we will continue our quest to try and find the missing Yuna. So until next time everyone, take care, and I'll see you soon.